For the last two years, I've been getting almost daily emails and messages from people that wanted to ask me if they should go to Dan Pena's QLA seminar, which I've done about three years ago. And this video is meant to answer those questions and try to minimize the questions that I'm getting so that I can uh, just send you this video. So if you message me and you're seeing this video, thank you for saving me time. And if you're interested in going to QLA, uh, this will answer a lot of your questions. So many people ask me uh, if this uh, QLA seminar is for them. My answer is it's, it depends. <laughs> it's not very simple. Um, first of all, if you're very young, um, I, I'm not sure this is the right investment for you because it is a $20,000 course, uh, a $20,000 seminar maybe the right thing for you would be to uh, diverse that, diversify those $20,000, spend say $3,000 on a Grant Cardone seminar, spend $3,000 on a Tony Robbins seminar, spend $3,000 on buying an online course, and just kind of try out a lot of different things, maybe another 3,000 on coaching. Try to, to diversify because if it's not the right investment for you, you basically just lost that money. So you wanna try to spread it around on, on different things and, and not you know, just pay $10, pay like thousands of dollars, but you can actually go for like five amazing things, like five great events or five coaches or five online programs. And that way uh, you have a much bigger chance of actually um, uh, hitting the right uh, thing. And I would just assume that out of maybe five coaches, maybe one of them is really good for you. Or out of five online programs, maybe one of them is good for you. So that's why I want to try to, to, to diversify from the very beginning. Now, another question uh, is, uh, should I go if I have a business or if I am not interested in acquisitions? Uh, the answer is probably no. Uh, the, the <clears throat> uh, what Grant Cardone and Dan Pena teach is fairly similar. Uh, Dan Pena talks a lot about taking massive action and cold calling. Uh, and uh, Grant Cardone basically teaches that uh, as it is, you can just buy the 10X book or you can buy um, just basically any seminar, any work that he does, it's about that. Uh, what Dan really does well is the whole acquisitions process. So for that, I would recommend that you actually go to him only if you have an, online, an existing business and you want to leverage it by buying another business and then uh, diversifying or merging them. Uh, but if all you want to do is increase it with sales, it would not be a wise decision. Um, another question, uh, again, should I go? Uh, I have no idea if I should go or not. Uh, just read Dan Pena's book. It's called Your First 100 Million. You can buy it online. It's very easy to get. And uh, that will pretty much answer your question because if you're uh, very much into the things he talk about, talks about in the book, uh, acquisitions and growing in, in multiples, then probably it is for you. Uh, but then again, I thought it was for me three years ago, um, but that was more out of a, a, not the right place. Because I was in a place where I was making very good money and I was coaching people and I was also I had some online businesses, but I felt stuck. And I thought what I needed to do was add a few extra zeros to my income to feel happy. Where the actual problem was I was not fulfilled internally because I was not actually going all out in my life and I was just kind of living a lazy life while making good money. So make sure that your motivations are correct. This is a very, very important uh, point because some people uh, just wanna go there because they think Dan will solve their problems. Dan will not solve your problems. He can only push you to help you solve your own problems. So if you're expecting that you go there and suddenly you find that this magic formula that solves your problems, uh, that's not that. And just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's good. I'm not saying it isn't, I'm just saying pay attention. Just because something costs a lot of money doesn't mean it has a lot of value. So don't automatically assume that, but actually check it out for yourself. And one last point. This is not a good course for idiots. Um, I talked to Dan at the time, and again, please, uh, Dan, if you see this, correct me if I'm wrong, but he said that only out of 20 something people that come to the seminar every few months, only like two or three people actually implement what they learned and make uh, a big result out of it. And the rest just kind of fizzle out or don't keep up with the pace. So I've been there, I've seen the people that come there, we're talking about Harvard graduates, we're talking about business owners. So just think how uh, basically complicated or, or hard this stuff is 
uh, before you go there. Don't think it's a magic solution. It's gonna take really, really crazy amount of work. And uh, oftentimes, if you don't have money on the side, like a lot of people, they just save money to go there, but they don't actually have money on the side, you're gonna encounter a big, big issue because uh, I know people that did QLA successfully that literally had to like live in gyms and public libraries for a year or two uh, because they only focused on that, on the big deals, and they didn't have any time to uh, focus on making income now. So the best position you can be in to go to this seminar is, again, if you wanna multiply your business, you wanna grow by acquisitions, number one. Number two, if you have a big amount of savings that will allow you to work for like two years without getting paid, so you don't have to think about that. Or number three, if you have an online business or anything that makes you money passively, maybe real estate, that will allow you to focus on QLA and making a big deal, making a, an acquisition that could take half a year, a year, two years, three years, and uh, you're in a position to actually do that without getting paid for most of the time. Because what happens again is people either realize it's too much work for them and they don't start or they start. And then a few months later, maybe half a year later, uh, they see how hard it is, the money's starting to run out, and then what they do is they start to diversify, and then they lose that laser beam focus, and it's just gone. So this is my official uh, statement, my official opinion uh, for everyone who's interested in the QLA. Again, I'm not uh, selling for Dan, I'm not affiliated with Dan, I've just been there, and again, many people have uh, come to me with questions since, So, and also I have friends who went there, so I'm kind of speaking to you from a very, very personal place. Um, and also, obviously, avoiding anything that would uh, be, uh, let's say, lit litigatable, litigatable. So I'm just saying uh, really what I think and not talking about anything that is uh, either confidential or whatever. And uh, please stop asking me to send you the presentation, the actual presentation that you get after the seminar. Uh, that is called Stealing. Don't do that. Be a good, be a good person. Uh, just go out and get his book, it's free. He has like 100 hours of material online for free. And if you got all that material in the book and you still haven't taken action, it's probably not for you. So this is my message for you. Uh, I have a channel full of uh, business advice, marketing advice, life advice. So if you're interested in that stuff, let me know and uh, let me know in the comments what you think and check out the other videos. Feel free to subscribe and check out my book and uh, some of Grant Cardone's products, which I've, who, whom I've been following for years and have been consistently investing in uh, for almost four years. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.